Hey guys, good for the win here. A little bit of a different video for Saturday. Um, so I streamed yesterday just to kind of grab footage for this. Um, which, if you don't follow me on Twitch, um, the uh, my channel is twitch.tv slash gudra underscore ftw. So it's like my YouTube channel name, except there's an underscore between the A and F in gudra and for the win. Um, so the reason I'm doing a little bit of a different video, uh, for one, uh, there was a planned, um, a planned opponent for today. However, that person does not have their team ready, for they are a slacker, <laughs> and uh, that he wouldn't mind me calling him that because he knows it. He called himself a slacker. Um, but also just to just to kind of vent because I feel like I have nowhere else to vent this kind of uh, stuff off. Um, so, I started, I was gonna, I was just gonna go ahead and record, I was just gonna do a normal, normal ranked doubles video for Saturday. You know, just be like, okay, this is the team I'm using, um, we're just gonna use it all week, yada yada, all that good stuff. Um, but, I recorded three videos in one, like, maybe one game, and it absolutely infuriated me. <laughs> it, it just, and I was, I was using a good team. Um, I was using a good team, or at least I thought it was, I, maybe, I think there may have been, like, one or two, maybe, that wasn't so great in, like, it didn't fit well enough for me to keep, um, but ultimately, it was a fairly decent team. And I lost, like, continuously. Um, and it absolutely infuriated me. Uh, because it, it's not really about me losing. You know, I can take losses. It, it gets aggravating. It gets frustrating to lose constantly. Um, but in anything I've ever done, I've always strive to be the best at it. When it came to um, music in high school, in college, uh, playing trumpet, I wanted to be the best trumpet player in the band, and I strove for that. Um, when I was in choir uh, in college and doing voice lessons, I strove to be the best singer um, in the studio. Um, so in everything I do, I try to do try to be the best and i i i personally have a lot of self self depreciation issues um i i don't uh self confidence i think i think is more the correct term here but i do um self depreciate a lot um but uh a lot of that is like i i feel like i'm not good enough at things and i People tell me all the time, it's like, oh, no, you, you are good at this. Like, you are good at this or that and yada, yada, yada. But for for me, I, I think it's a difference in um, what people think of as good at something. Um, I think a lot of people will say, um, like, they see that I can do a bunch of different things. Um, I'm being very generic because it's hard to kind of explain this um but pe people f see me do things and to them it does look good but i have high expectations of myself that they're comparing they're comparing themselves they're comparing me to like maybe themselves at a certain thing or maybe just a general of um a general group that they would uh kind of maybe um associate with uh related to that particular thing so in in this instance like trumpet like maybe they've only known so many different trumpet players in their life and so if i'm better than them i look like i'm a good trumpet player but to me it's i i have such high expectations like i've seen so many better trumpet players than i than i ever was ever could be and I compare myself to that standard, and that's why I think I'm not good at things. 
and so it's always it's always been a a a goal um an aspiration to like be to be legitimately good at something for me for me to understand for me to know hey i am good at this you know this is this is the one thing i can do this is what i'm good at you know um and which brings me to the the title of the video of the hump it's it's getting over this hump that yes i am i am adequate at um at something um and for me the, the pokemon on youtube is kind of like a um It's it's something I enjoy doing. I re I do enjoy doing it. Um, I wish I could do it more. Uh, the problem is the time commitment and um, it's the lack the lack of I guess kind of engagement from uh, YouTube and people coming to watch videos that kind of it it upsets me. Uh, because I have such high hopes for myself, such high expectations for myself to be good at this. Um, mostly the YouTube thing. I, I, I would love to be good at Pokemon. I, like I, with Pokemon, I've come so close to actually doing well at things. Like I've gotten my butt handed to me in official tournaments many, many a time. But there are times I have come so close to topping, and it's, it's. It's about getting over that hump. I think once I get to that level, I think um, my mindset will change. But it's about getting to that level. And even with YouTube, um, it's about getting to a level to where I feel uh, safe enough. Not not really safe. You can never really feel safe on YouTube. But confident enough to be able to do what I want to do, essentially. Um, so... <sighs> For me, with YouTube, it's um, I, I have had to uh, seek um, psychiatric help, mental health help, uh, to deal with some things, uh, anxiety, all that kind of stuff. Um, and with the coronavirus going on um, and people getting uh, furloughed and unemployed and um, all around things just shutting down. Um, unfortunately, I, well, it's bittersweet. Like, um, my, my job, I've, I've still had to work. Um, I'm not really an essential worker, but I provide quote-unquote essential services. Um, I work on copiers, and I've really not enjoyed the job for a long time. And I have tried every every which way to get out of the job um, that I could still uh, su reliably support my family with. Um, but the opportunities have not come. They've not arisen. <laughs> I've not gotten those opportunities yet. Um, so... For me, YouTube is more about. Um, it, it is something I would I want to be able to do full time. Like I want, this is how I want to make my living. Um, this is how I want to support my family, make money, pay my bills, all that stuff. You know, this is how I want to do it. And it's not just about the job. I, I've I've always had a need. Or not really need, but I've always wanted to help people um, in any way that I can, and I feel like giving, being given a platform um, to um, not really be above others, but to where um, there are people watching me. Um, like I want to make content that I would be okay with my own kids watching. You know, I, I've made, um, I've made videos on video games that are rated M. If you go back on my channel, I've played Sekiro, uh, I've played Resident Evil, I've played Dark Souls. Um, but 
before all those videos, I I put a warning. Like, hey, this game's rated M. Take it or leave it. You know? Um, so, while I do... I have made content like that, I, I do still warn people. That way, if parents don't want their kids watching it, if as long as they're monitoring what their kids are watching, which they should be, <laughs> um, then they kind of know, hey, maybe this isn't something you should watch. Um, but the way YouTube works at the moment is you can't really do variety, which sucks. Um, but it is what it is. Um, but, like I said, it's, it's, it's more about I want to create content that is accessible um it is enjoyable to watch and it is something parents can feel safe um knowing that their kids are watching something that is not going to uh quote unquote corrupt them you know nothing like no bad language uh, i might say something crude here or there um just out of out of habit or uh, on whim or something. Um, but for the most part, I feel like I do a very good job at staying in check. Especially with the Pokemon. I think Pokemon battles are more analytical. Um, I, I, do, I do react. I do yell. That does happen. But uh, I think I'm more analytical and um, try to be informative in some sort of fashion while the battle is going on. Um, but, but that's my goal. You know, I, I, want, I want my channel to be a safe place for parents, for their kids, and for even um, just any, any and all ages, you know. Um, I, want, I want people to be able to come to this channel and know, hey, there's someone here that I can talk to. We can relate on this, at least on this one guy's stuff. And um, even if, even if things were to work out and like the channel gets bigger I, I would just love to be able to use the resources that I have to be able to actually help people in more material ways than just um awareness or um like giving the the family friendly content um so th this is just what it all boils down to um I, I just need to get over this hump. Um, not just in Pokemon, uh, but in YouTube and in life. It's, it's something I need to get through. Um, I don't know this video is probably not going to get watched or listened to for this long. Um, but it's something I need to say. Hopefully people will watch and listen. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you are watching uh, the actual game footage, uh, you do see I... I did get to Master Ball tier. I, that was an unfinished thought, I guess, at the beginning. Uh, I got mad, and I was just like, screw it. I'm going. I'm just going to go to Master Ball tier. And so I did it. So I'm in Master Ball tier. Um, but uh, stream, so the stream was on Twitch. Um, I feel like I have my stuff to catalog um, all that. It might not. I don't know. But... Um, Thanks for listening. I just need to kind of vent a little bit. And I felt like this was a perfect opportunity to do that. Um, go ahead. Subscribe. Um, let your friends know. Because um, that's another thing. is like I, I try to reach out to the people I know. And for the most part, I get like nothing. Like uh, I'll, I'll share my stuff on Facebook and I'll have like... Um, May, like my wife, my mom, and then maybe a friend or two uh, share it. And then that's as far as it gets. So if you guys could share this, uh, maybe let other people know. Um, just not necessarily about this video, just the channel in general. I, it'd mean the world to me. Um, it would mean the world to me to be able to, to be home with my wife and my kid and to, um, to work here and be able to uh, stick around and help and spend time with them. Uh, but uh, let me know um, kind of how, uh, <laughs> how you guys are doing, uh, if you made it this long. Um, if you have, 
and if you're not subscribed, uh, please subscribe. Uh, like the video, all that good stuff. Uh, but that's all I got. Thanks for listening. Um, hopefully the I have edited the, edited the gameplay footage well enough <laughs> that uh, um, we'll be uh, we'll be all right. But uh, we'll at least end end a battle. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. I hope it's okay. Because <laughs> I've done it. That's what I'm doing. Ugh. Gosh. Ugh. <laughs> so... There's a good chance we see the Dragapult first. If we don't see Dragapult, then we see Excadrill, T-Tar. We'll see what happens. We see Excadrill, T-Tar. Okay. Um, so the resonance is not super effective on T-Tar, so I'm thinking I'm going to go set it up on there. Uh, we might see double rock slide. That could be a thing. Just to try to prevent the trick room. Very, very possible. Very possible. But we'll see. We shall see. Kept the polywag shirt. I had to keep the polywag shirt. Like you can't, you can't get rid of the polywag shirt. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're uh, looking at some double rock slides here. I think that's what we're about, what we're about to see. Unless, um, unless we outspeed T Tar, which I would find kind of surprising. No, EQ. Interesting. Oh, he's prop. He wants that weakness policy. Oh, uh, is he going for crunch, though? Or is he going for rock slide? Crit the dust clops. He's going for the crunch. He wants this thing dead. Uh, and he gets it. That sucks. That sucks big time. Uh, that, was, that was risky, risky, risky. Mr. Risky. Uh, but now he cannot. He cannot, should not, would not. If he wanted to. Um, make that thing big. So, I'm going to bring in Incineroar now. <laughs> um, where we can fake out that T-Tar. And make sure it does not do anything too drastic. While we set up. A nice juicy geyser on Excadrill. Uh, we could see the Gyarados come in in the Excadrill slot. Very possible. Could also see the Dragapult come in on the T-Tar slot. Those are things that I would do, potentially. Because you save the sand for later, like... Uh, no, Excadrill is protecting. Uh, they might both be protecting. Nope. Uh, unfortunately, that's not enough to do the darn thing to the darn guy. Uh, I do get rid of the Sand Rush, which is nice. Um... So what do I do here? Do I flare blitz? Um, he, he, he's probably going to protect EQ, right? Uh, so let's lightning into the T-Tar slot. Alright. Nope. Withdraws the Excadrill into the Togekiss. Great. Just what I wanted to see. 
Rock Slide. Wonderful. Incineroar flinches. Of course he does. Ugh. You hate to see it, folks. You hate to see it. You really do. Uh, so I definitely can't bring King Kelder in on this. Although. Although. I uh, see the Gyarados. Great. And he is still not Dynamaxed. Which is scary. So I am parting shotting. Um, freeze dry is double effective. So we're going to freeze dry. And it's stab. Uh, Thunderbolt is double effective. But I think freeze dry is the better option. Okay. Whatever. Uh, D-Dance. No, you were waterfalling. Goodbye, Incineroar. Sweet. Sweet. Can't wait. Hopefully, Togekiss freezes. Moxie! Great! <laughs> I love Moxie. Huh. Um, that does a third-ish. Oh, here's where it gets dicey, dicey, dicey. Dicey, dicey, dicey. Um, Ice Punch is good against either of these. Like, I don't want him to... Like, I don't want to... Uh... Yep, yeah, Big Gators. Uh, this might be a dead King Kelder. We have our Veil up, but I, I still think this is a dead King Kelder. Rain, Stab... Plus one. We lose, right? We lose this, don't we? We totally lose this. Yes, phone. Thank you for your input. Follow me. Yep. Uh, unless we see an airstream onto Lapras. Uh, overgrowth on Lapras. That's a dead Lapras. Yep. We got destroyed from the get-go. Great. Awesome. And he raises, a, raises his attack again. Uh, that kills Togekiss, though. Okay, so... <laughs> we have to hope that... Man, him taking out that Dusk Labs turn one was pretty pretty good for him. It was really good for him. We have to survive. Probably an Earthquake. Iron Head. Oh, he's going for Flinches. And we have to survive this Airstream! Come on, King Calder, you can do it! He couldn't do it. He can't do it. What am I kidding? Alright, cool. We lost. Great. 